Here's the second video. So video number two, and it's going to be about the cosine. I'm, I'll do something similar with the tangent just so you can look to see which one. So here's the cosine graph. Again, we plug in an angle, we get back our cosine ratio. Here's what some principal values on it. So I'm getting, we plug in an angle, that's what it's on the horizontal axis and a ratio up here. And the question is, we want to do the same thing. We want to invert part of the graph. So we want to find a part of the graph where the sine is, where the cosine is one to one and where all possible ratios minus one, between minus one y and one is. I want you to think about that. Maybe pause it and then, you know, uh, just sketch out what you think is, is the part of the cosine curve I'm going to pick. Sometimes they call that the principal part of the cosine. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you paused it and thought about it and came up with an answer. Here's, here's what most, here's the, I think, the best solution right there. It's just that part of the graph. So in other words, I'm going to have this. I'm just going to look at this part of the graph between here and here. And then so this point here, uh, angle is 0, cosine ratio is 1. Here the angle is pi over 2, the cosine ratio is 0. Here the angle is pi, the cosine ratio is minus 1. So we're going to use this to develop the inverse. So we're just going to switch everything around. So I'll try, I'll try to work that out real quickly. Um, so again, in order to find the inverse, we have to restrict the cosine to a part that's one to one, that has all possible ratios, and then we use that to get the graph. Then we'll, we'll go back and look, at, uh, and look at Desmos too. Okay, so here's what we have. Here's the principal part of the cosine, which we're going to invert. So we're still talking about the cosine. X is going to be an angle. Y is a ratio. And notice here that we start at our, our values are going to be pi is the biggest angle. Then pi over 2 is in the middle. And 0 and 1 are over here. So again, our x's go between possible ratios minus 1 and 1. That's the all possible ratios, and minus 1 to y, I'm sorry, minus pi, minus 0, regular 0, no minus 0, and pi are the angles. So let's get a sense of what the cosine inverse is going to look like. And I'm going to ask you to draw this in a second. This is also sometimes called the arc cosine. So this is going to be, our x-axis here is going to be a ratio. That's what we're going to plug in. And we're going to get back the angle. So that's what we're going to get back. So remember, our, our angles go between uh, 0 and pi. And then our ratios go between minus 1 and 1. So. Let's try to get a sense of what the graph looks like. Okay, our ratios, 1 and minus 1. So we just have to pick what goes with what. Okay, so minus 1, the angle that goes with minus 1 is pi. Okay, the angle that goes with 0 is pi over 2. The angle that has the ratio of 1 is 0. So if we have a ratio of 1, our angle is 0. So just really have a curve that fits this. That's what I got for the graph. Okay. Hopefully you got that too when you paused and looked at it. Okay, let's just go look at Desmos, and then we'll, we'll, we'll end the video. So I'm going to share the screen. And I've been playing with Desmos, so I'm going to erase some stuff once we get there. So here, let's get rid of all this stuff. Oh, actually, I want to keep that on there, but I just don't need it. But get rid of that. Okay. So we decided, here's the cos. We decided we wanted to restrict it just between 0 and pi, so this blue part. So we have one angle of it. And so that's what the principal cosine is. And then now we're going to look at what the... Um, uh, 
cosine inverse, which I prefer this notation. Um, and you see what it looks like. It goes between minus 1 and 1 on the x-axis. And our angles go between pi is a little bit over 3 and 0. So here, let's turn off the cosine. So that's exactly what we got before. Those are exactly the things. And just kind of reinforce that. Let's add a quick table. And here we're going to have, it's going to be the cosine inverse of x1. And so we're going to plug in with ratio of minus 1. We get that point up there. We're going to say, well, where here's the cosine ratio is 1 half. There's my angle. So let's go back and do 0 first. 0, there's my angle. Well, I'm just picking at random what cosine is equal to 1 half right there. And then my cosine ratio is 1. What's the angle? 0. Okay. That's pretty much what we saw before. So I'm just going to go back and do a quick summary, and then we'll go on to the TAN video. OK, so again, this is what we had. This is what our cosine inverse looks like. So here's our summary. We take this part of the cosine curve, it's going to be between 0 and pi. Then we use that to develop the inverse or the arc cosine. And here we're going to get back an angle. And x is going to be the ratio. Our ratios have to be between minus 1 and 1 for the cosine. The angles between 0 and pi. And we saw that the graph, I'm not going to go into it, but we saw that the graph looked like that. Where this would be minus 1 pi. This would be 0 pi over 2. And this would be plug in 1, we get back to 0. So again, these are the angles. This is the ratio. Over here, we plug in an angle for the cosine and get a ratio. OK. Yeah, that's a good summary of that. The book has it as well. By the way, you can call it the inverse cosine function, or you can call it the arc cosine function. It's the same for the sine. I didn't put it in there, but you can put that in there. Okay, well, thanks, and that's it for the video.